This video is called The Crow and it has been made by artist Glenn Marshall using AI to transform a video of a dancer into this surreal crow. This year, AI-generated art has been taking the world by storm. It all started in April with the release of Dolly 2, one of the most powerful text-to-image AI models. And since then, there has been an explosion in the world of AI-generated images. Massive companies like Google and Meta have revealed their own text-to-image technology. Other AI models emerged, like Midjourney, which is based on a Discord server and has an active community collectively creating with AI. There's a crowd of hundreds of thousands of developers and enthusiasts that are pushing the technology forward with Stable Diffusion, an AI model that you can run on your own hardware and that you can tweak and tinker with to achieve image-to-image -image AI generation, and even adding to the model new knowledge, allowing you, for example, to have your own face be drawn by AI. Now, right when Dolly 2 came out, I made this video, which is to date the most popular video on my channel, and I said this. And some of you probably already figured out that video is next. Video is a much greater challenge, of course, but with the speed at which AI is developing, I think it won't be long until also that is taking on. One day I'm confident we could just walk up to a TV and tell it to generate me a movie that Quentin Tarantino would direct with a plot similar to Death Note, featuring Wilson from Castaway, The DeLorean from Back to the Future, Derek Zoolander and Darth Vader. Well, that was fast. Okay, so a couple days ago, a research team at Meta announced Make a Video, a new model that brings us text to video generation. Just enter a phrase and the model will generate a video of what you are describing. Not enough? You can add on a simple static image and the model will animate it with awareness of your context and subject. And if you have two images from the same scene, you can input them both into the model and it will animate the scene for you. If you already have a video, you can ask the model to create variations of that video that were never shot or created by any real person. Now, yes, the videos right now are not Oscar worthy in terms of quality, but consider the leap that text to image AI has taken in just one year and you'll start to see where this is going. And now, I make YouTube videos, so this hits very close to home. As soon as the first image models like Dolly 2 have been revealed, they have been sending shockwaves through the art and creator community throughout the world, with fears that technology will put hundreds of thousands of artists out of business. The argument is that technology has finally surpassed humans, and it has stripped us of the last thing we had on our side, which is creativity. But is this really the case? Should Steven Spielberg and Christopher Nolan start to update their LinkedIn profiles? Well, seeing how things played out in the last months, I really don't think so. But the rules of the game will definitely change. And this is because of one core concept, which I call the new thingy life cycle. Suddenly, a new thingy gets invented that increases the quality or the quantity of the output in a specific field. To make an example and remain in the world of video, let's pick digital VFX. Up until the end of the 1980s, most visual effects were practical, made by model makers or stop motion animators. That's how they made Star Wars of many of my favorite movies. Steven Spielberg was working on the movie Jurassic Park and they hired Phil Tippett, one of the world's best stop motion animators at the time. And then out of nowhere, Spielberg is shown a demo of a simple animation of the 3D model of a dinosaur. And this changed everything. He was so blown away by the technology that he wanted most scenes made with digital VFX instead of stop motion. And while, yes, they took some time to mature, they are now used to give life to new worlds and tell stories that would have been impossible to tell even just 20 years ago. Now, let's pause for a second. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a practical VFX artist from the 1980s at that time. You see this coming, a new technology that with the same amount of input produces a disproportionately better and bigger output. If digital VFX allow even very small teams to create incredible shots with basically no or little resources, then the industry will collapse, most of the workforce will be laid off, and this will be the end. Sounds familiar? Well, if we assume that the output is constant and exactly the same, then yes, they are right. But what history has taught us again and again is that the real magic happens right after this period of shock and disbelief. When people realize that this new thingy, this new technology is nothing more than a tool, a multiplier that once learned and incorporated into work, transforms their input into something dramatically better. 
And this is true for most technological invention over time, from agricultural techniques in the medieval times to photography or clocks. And you guessed it, this is exactly what's happened in the last months with AI-generated images and what's going to happen in the next year with AI-generated videos. But what we've seen in the last month is definitely not layoffs of hundreds of thousands of artists, but it's the exact opposite. People have been using these AI tools, combining them with their own creativity and so much effort is being put into improving them too. If you take a look at the Stable Diffusion subreddit, you'll see a huge community of people tinkering with this technology and pushing it forward in different ways. But while I believe that AI applied to image and videos is going to increase the creative potential, we're going to see three massive changes in the coming years. Number one, and this is already been shaping up a lot, is the art of the prompt. In the last months, there has been an explosion in the art and science of building prompts for AI from websites and communities to entire marketplaces where people buy and sell these kind of prompts. Number two is copyright and AI feeding consensus will become a big issue. A journalist from The Atlantic recently published an article with an illustration made by the AI Meet Journey, crediting the AI itself in the description of the image. This created a huge backlash among artists and the media because this is still uncharted territory. And what's even more tricky is giving consensus to feed an AI. The models we have today feed off billions of public images on the web. But as an artist, you might not want an AI to be trained to replicate your work or your own style, not to incentivize people copying from your work. And right now, we don't have a system for this. We don't have anything in place yet, but this will surely become a hot topic in the coming years. And number three is a big shift in user interfaces. This is Runway, a cloud-based video editing software. But if you end up fulfilling their promise, what Runway has created can really change the game completely. Because not only their editor allow you to generate videos from text, but they also allow you to edit your videos via text prompts. So you can type in directly what you want the final results to be, like make this image a bit lighter or make it more cinematic or ask the software to cut all the parts of the footage where you're not talking. And here's why this is interesting. In the last 40 years, we went from communicating and giving instructions to our computers via text and command lines to the graphical user interface. And that's what we use today. But AI might bring us back to the origin and enable a shift from graphical user interfaces to conversational computing. But you know what? This is a very juicy topic and it deserves a video of its own. So subscribe to the channel to see it and here is another one that you might enjoy.